What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm over here back at Universal Orlando Resort and today I'm back over here at Islands of Adventure. I'm here with my family. They've never been to Universal Orlando so we're gonna be here at Islands of Adventure today and then in a couple of days we're gonna go over to Universal Studios so I'm gonna show them my best even though I don't know much over here. I'm gonna show them as much as I know. So let's come have some fun over here at Islands of Adventure. There's a lot of people here today. Today's the first day of spring break for schools in Florida. So the lines are really long. I already checked the app. The waits are pretty long. And it's also very hot. So I'm gonna to try to go on some of those water rides that I haven't been on. First things first, gotta buy a lanyard over here at Islands of Adventure Trading Company. The hundreds of lanyards. This might be the best lanyard shop. Let me know if you guys know any good lanyard shops over here at, at Universal Orlando. You guys think this is good right here? White chocolatey pineapple bar with pineapple bits. Uh, I'd rather eat all these poop lollipops. First land we're heading into Marvel Superhero Island. My favorite land over here at Islands of Adventure. Oh, over here by the Hulk roller coaster is, what's his name? Whoever this guy is from Kung Fu Panda. I think his name's Poe. I never noticed, but this street right here in the middle of Marvel Superhero Island is called Stan Lee Boulevard. First ride, The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. 30 minute wait. Not too bad. Let's see if it's actually 30 minutes. later when it's a little bit less crowded and go on the Hulk. We were gonna come over here on the Ripsaw Falls, but it's a 85 minute wait. And I think Jurassic Park River Adventure is only a 50 minute wait. So I guess we'll go ahead and go on that. All right, all right. River Adventure, Jurassic Park River Adventure, 50 minutes. We gotta wait for something, so. Yeah, that's true. This is like one of the shortest waits over here at this park right now. I didn't think they the let me bring my bag and my camera, but I guess mm -hmm. on Jurassic Park River Adventure, you can bring your stuff. It'll just probably get soaked. Okay, let's time this. Right now, it's 3.11. Let's see when we get on. Wow, we only waited in line for 15 minutes. I'm not sure why they are saying that this is 50 minutes. Maybe this is how all the rides are. Maybe they overestimate the rides, but 50 to 15 minutes, kind of a big overestimation. All right, guys, I gotta put away the camera. The lady yelled at me. Plus, I know everything is gonna get soaked, so I'll see you guys after. All right, so we didn't get really wet at all. At least I didn't. I got sprayed in my face a little bit, but yeah, the ride said 50 minutes, and now it says 60 minutes, and we only waited 15, so I don't know. Maybe that's a good sign for today that they overestimate the rides and we can get um, some rides pretty quickly. And we were also on the ride on the Jurassic Park River Adventure. We were stuck, like right at the big drop. We were stuck there for like five minutes. And when we went down the drop, actually the dinosaur wasn't working, it didn't come out. All right, we got our butter beers. And now I think we're gonna go on the Forbidden Journey. It says it's a 50 minute wait, but that's what Jurassic Park said. So maybe it'll be less. All right, it's 4.05 right now. So it says 50 minute wait. Let's see how long it takes us. Well, you guys know the rules. Gotta put everything in the locker so I'll see you guys when I get out. Well, the wait time over here for Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey was literally like 50 minutes, but the ride broke when we were on it for like five minutes. We were stuck, so they let us ride again. So we got two rides in 50 minutes, so that was pretty cool. But my mom got a little sick on it, so we're trying to go find her. She's not feeling too good after that. It is kind of, it does get you a little sick. If you're motion sick, if you get motion sick very easy, that's probably not a good ride for you. One of these days I'm going to eat at one of these restaurants here in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because the food smells so good every time I walk by. I want to go on this Poseidon's Fury. I wanted uh, to check this out. I think it's a show, like a kind of walkthrough kind of tour of how special effects are made. So this should be pretty cool. 
This is probably one of the coolest buildings in all of Universal Orlando Resort right here. They tell me I can't film in here. So, so just got out of Poseidon's Fury. It's really cool. I give it two thumbs up. Really cool special effects. They had this thing that when you go into like a, a, a tunnel and it's water shooting off from both sides like this. And that was really cool. And the special effects were pretty cool in there. So I highly recommend Poseidon's Fury over at Islands of Adventure. Now we are in Seuss Landing. I want to come on this ride right here. I don't know what this ride is called, but if you guys are ever wondering, moose juice is orange and goose juice is green. 15 minute wait <laughs> for the high in the sky Seuss trolley train ride. Sneech is in. Guess I'm a sneech. Why, Universal, why do you do this to me? I'm slightly disappointed in that ride. I wanted it to be longer. I thought it was gonna be like a people mover type thing that took me all around, but it lasted like a minute. But over here in the gift shop, just as you exit, they have a bunch of cool candies. And if you guys ever get a turtle, I think this is what you should name him. Yertle the turtle. Plus it said it was only 15 minutes, but we waited like 30 minutes. So universal, get your wait times right. So back in Toon Lagoon to go ride, the Ripsaw Falls before it gets too dark and too cold. And right now it's only like a 30 minute wait, so earlier it was like an 80. People literally come out of this ride soaked all the way, so I'm definitely putting my camera and everything in a locker. Just kidding, no free lockers for this ride, so I guess I gotta just take it on. I'm not gonna record though. Let's see how soaked I get. Okay, just got off Ripsaw Falls. Two things. First, it was a five minute wait. There was no line at all. Secondly, they literally could have just dumped me in some water and I'd probably be the exact same amount wet as I am right now. I've never been more wet on a ride than I am right now coming off this ride. It feels like I just jumped into a pool fully clothed. All right, I think it's about time that we ride the Hope. Probably the last ride before the park closes for tonight. First time on the Hulk. All right, let's do this. I'll let you guys know how this compares to some of the roller coasters at Bush Gardens after the ride. The Hulk roller coaster is crazy. It's probably right up there with one of the top ones at Bush Gardens. If you like roller coasters and you want to be scared, that's definitely one. That's definitely one that you should get on. All right, that's it, guys. That's it for today. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So I think in a couple days, we're gonna go to Studios, Universal Studios, and then tomorrow, we are going to the Yankees and somebody. Yankees versus somebody spring training game out in Tampa. So I'll be doing a video on that. So make sure you guys subscribe, keep up with all the new videos. See you guys on the next one.